Right, we have a question here. We want to deal with this one. It is designed to amplify a voltage signal of 12 millivolt provided by a signal source with an internal resistance of 0.4 kilo ohm and deliver it to a 2 kilo ohm resistive load. So it's not inductive or capacitive load, it's just purely resistive load. A voltage amplifier with RI or internal resistance of 16 kilo ohm, output uh, resistance or RO of 0.06 kilo ohm, and AV or gain of 150 is used for the for this purpose. Draw the amplifier represented as a two-port block with both the input and output mod modeled as their Thevenin equivalents and find the overall voltage gain. Then explain how the input and output resistances of the amplifier contribute to the effectiveness of the voltage amplifier's performance. Right, to answer this question, uh, first of all, we need to understand what we're dealing with. So it would be actually best to follow that uh, principle and follow the requirements of the question. The, the question is asking, first of all, draw the amplifier represented as a two-port block with both the input and output modeled as their Thevenin equivalent. So, first of all, we want to know what, what that is. So, if you remember uh, in Thevenin theory, we always had the equivalent of any circuit as a voltage supply. Uh, so you could say uh, supply voltage with an internal resistance Ri and the load Rl. That was the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Uh, now we want to have two of these, one for the input, one for the output basically. So if I just that was just a quick revision of what you've done in Thevenin's theory. Um, and now we want to represent this amplifier as a two-port block. So my two-port block would be, if I just say this is, my, this is a block, you have an input and an output. Now, for the, for the input, this amplifier, let's just consider this as an, as, as an amplifier. The amplifier would be seen from the source point of view. We'll, we'll have a source of supply, a supply source, a voltage supply, and we name that the S, voltage of supply. That itself has its own internal resistance. R I so that is connected to the input so this side is input this side is out output of the amplifier and the amplifier itself will be seen because this is a source of supply itself it will be seen as an internal resistance so I'll just name this uh, to avoid confusion because we have two internal resistance, one for the source, one for the amplifier. Because we're dealing with the amplifier itself, I want to name this internal amplifier. So because we mainly talk about the amplifier itself here. And let's name this uh, resistance of the source. So internal resistance of the supply, RS. And at this point, this is your V in voltage of the input voltage, and this is where you will have output voltage coming out. The output of the amplifier will be connected to the load resistance. Again, the output of the amplifier from the load point of view will be seen as a source of supply. Now I'm just going to draw it this way, so again, it's not the same as that. 
supply. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same source of supply basically. And that is got its own internal resistance. We'll name that one output resistance. So as far as load is concerned, the whole amplifier is seen as if it's a source of supply with an internal resistance, which is the Thevenin, if you remember. That's, that's your Thevenin equivalent. And this is your Thevenin equivalent to the input. So you have, this is your drawing for, the, uh, for that part of the question. And the amplifier itself will have its own gain A, V, I, or A, V, in, input of the uh, gain of the amplifier, internal gain of the amplifier, which is given 115. So if we want to find now to calculate A, V, S, the total overall gain of the whole amplifier as far as the load is concerned and this is your source now this is your internal Thevenin equivalent source as far as the load can see it sees this much voltage because you're dropping some of the voltages throughout the uh, system uh, resistors internal resistors of the amplifier internal resistance of the source output resistance and all that so if you want to get the overall gain we're dealing with this voltage over this voltage, uh, sorry, the voltage of the supply, the output voltage over the Vs, Vo over Vs, which is, we can write it this way, Vi over Vs, this input, this voltage over this voltage, V in over Vs times V out over V, V I, V O over V I, just say I, so we know this is the same as that. So this voltage over this voltage times this voltage over this one will give you this, we basically V O over S, because these two will cancel each other out. But we need to, we need to split it into this shape, into this format, because we can find that, we can, we can, we have those values. But in this format, we don't have them. Now, VI over VS, the formula for that, just uh, accept this, this is RI over RI plus RS. This is nothing but uh, what we knew from Thevenin's uh, theory. So if you do a revision on that, you'll see this is where, where that comes from. VI over VS is RI is R over this plus that. And if you put the values there, which has been given, uh, 16,000, because it says 16 kilo ohms, uh, for our I, internal resistance of the uh, amplifier, and again 16,000 plus RS is 400. Where that comes from, because it says the internal resistance of the source is 0 0.4 kilo ohm, 0 0.4 kilo is 400 ohms. And the other one, internal resistance of the amplifier is 16 kilo ohms, which is 16,000. So if you do the math, you'll find this is 0.97. There is no unit for that because it's voltage over voltage. And then, so we've found this element. This element is that. And for this one, VO over VI, yeah. the formula for that is AV, because now we have a gain. It's not just, we, we have an amplifier here, we have a gain here. We have a uh, source of supply that's seen here. AVI, if I say, times RL over RL 
plus R O. So again, consider this as a formula and put the values there. This is 150 as given in the question. RL is 2,000 2, or 2 kilo ohms. Yeah, uh, 2 kilo ohm resistive load. And output resistance of 0 0.06 kilo ohm, which is 16 ohm. So 2,000 plus 16. And if you do the maths, you find out that is 145.6. Again, there's no unit because it's voltage over voltage. So AVS now, put the values now, we have this for this element of the formulas and that for that. You put them together and it is 0 0.97 times. I'm not going to rewrite the formula. You would have to, if it's your assignment really, you would have to rewrite this here and say that's what you're doing basically. It's just the... Uh, Procedure is just like step by step. That's why you, you, you follow the pattern. You don't put that there. So you know this is VI over VS and uh, VO over VI is 145.6 and you get 141.2. Again, there's no unit for that. That's your gain. And it says how much actually is <coughs> And find the overall voltage gain. So we found the overall voltage gain. Um, we want to know actually how much it is. The output voltage, how much would that, would that be? So the output voltage, let's say VO, or the output, that, that voltage, the out, is if you have this gain here, and 12 millivolts was given as source. This is 12 millivolts. You want to see how much that is amplified, basically. So this is your gain. One for, you could say V out is A, V, S times V, I. And that is V out is one for one point two times um, twelve millivolts. That's twelve times ten to the power of minus three, and that would be one point six nine volts. So you give twelve millivolts here, you get here one point six nine volts. It is a voltage amplifier, and that's basically uh, the A part of the question. B says, explain how the input and output resistances of the amplifier contribute to the effectiveness of the voltage amplifier's performance. You can see how much the input and output resistance can, can affect. If you increase this, what will happen here? If you increase that or decrease it, what will happen here? And what will happen in the overall? So you just, you just put some examples in your own uh, head and see if 60 was, for instance, 80, how would that affect the overall? Uh, and if it was less, how would that affect? And RI, the same if 16,000 was 20,000, how, how would that affect the amplifier, the performance of it, the gain of it? Uh, so what I would say, the best performance would be uh, what we found in feminine theory that to, to transfer the maximum power, you would have to have the internal resistance equal with the load resistance. So for the output part, if RL equals RO, then that is where you get the maximum trans maximum power. That would be the best optimal uh, situation. And for the input, if RS equals RI, that would give you that would give you the best performance. But however, you need to analyze a little bit if, you, if you're going for distinction. You need to analyze um, how if you increase or decrease RO, we can just see it clearly. If you increase this, this is going to go down. This element is going to go down. And if you increase that, 
this element is going to go up. So Ri going up uh, increases the AB, uh, Ro incre in being increased then decreases the AB. But there is, a, there is an optimum uh, value at the point where you get the best, and that was what I just explained.